Hey everybody, Tokusa here and welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. So today we are going to visit Ojiro and I believe it's for the first time uh, because I just recently pulled this character on Kaminari's banner or the previous step up banner. I can't completely remember, uh, but he is one of the very few characters in this game that can take advantage of this memory from the third anniversary, right? Uh, this memory requires a blue unit that can overwhelm. And Ojiro is one of the few characters in this entire game that can actually do Overwhelm. Uh, of course, Steampunk Bakugo, Ojiro, and I believe uh, UR Plus twice, I think is what Annie told me. So there's only like three characters in this entire game that can actually take use of this memory. So I think it's a good time to visit Ojiro, see how he does in this memory, and see if he can compete in PvP. Not too sure how he's going to do, but of course I'm going to use my go-to pvp team to try to keep him alive as much as possible because my ojiro is only level 90 and that memory is not really built for speed so could be tricky but we'll see what we can do uh and yeah i will be right back with the pvp team set up and our first opponent so first opponent will be mana here uh one thing i wanted to point oh, there's a few things i should point out about ojiro so uh first things first is he does extra damage to red units in both these action skills main reason i kind of chose this opponent too because we are fighting an ochako so this extra skill impact damage to str opponents on both action skills is really nice another couple key components that's really nice about ojiro is his both his action skills are four turn cooldowns so even though i'm running two characters at lower action skill cooldown time those these are very beneficial they're very nice to have right and he gives team-wide ally action skill impact buffs right 10 percent for eight turns when used in a successfully executed skill chain so that's pretty cool as well and he's got some good debuffs right defense down is very nice he's got some last stand increases the skill impact of all blue type characters so if you're running more blue units he can be pretty valuable uh, unfortunately i don't have any like super powerful blue units actually it's only the one debuff huh the defense one uh there's my uh, auto skill rolls but yeah he's got some good components that can make him useful i would think in certain situations but outside of that it, it'll be tricky to go, to grab a couple of w's here i think uh i am top four i haven't been grinding super hard recently uh so yeah i'm not too high in rank but still the opponents up here are very like high class highly duped and just difficult overall so it could be difficult to win uh because we're not running full speed here we are running these the, as you can see the impact fest uh memory so might be a little bit tricky to survive here so i think what we're gonna do is take advantage of compressors dulce summertime and hide ojiro right off the bat assuming we don't get stunned by ochako here we can survive this love it love it love it love it love it good defense down get that rolling anyways we're hiding ojiro right off the bat which i do prefer right protect him at all costs uh, we'll give the creator to Ojiro. We're just going to give Ojiro all the spotlight here. And we're going to try to, uh, get Compressor's Dulce Summertime. Because this should not KO. Beautiful. Okay. We'll do that. Do some nice damage to Ochako. 25k? That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, I guess I should have shown you where I have Ojiro on the basic ability board route. But it's not too bad, actually. Okay, so that Ochako's fast. So what we're going to do here is this, actually. It just gives her health recovery, avoids the chance of being stunned a little bit better. I think it's probably the smarter play. Even though we're going to have action skills out of sync, I just think it's smarter here. So let's do that. I'd rather be protected. I do not have plus ultras on. Oh! <laughs> Ojiro's plus ultra. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever seen it. So uh, let's do that. Compress. I think uh, this is going to do nothing. But hey, if you want to bind, that's okay. Compress is so done for, by the way. <laughs> it's alright, Compress. It's alright. Uh, yay. He's taking the plus ultras for me. Alright, Ojiro. Give me something good here. Hey, that's clean. 37k? You know what? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I should have changed my bench up. That should be Todoroki. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Um, I think we'll do this. Yeah. I definitely should have had Todoroki on the bench just for action skill kill action skill chains to still be aligned but it is what it is can't do much about it now defense down good aoe damage there from Todoroki or tokoyami i meant momo could get ochako down to one hp oh, how is that not one h oh my goat doing them double hits though my goat doing them double hits we love to see it okay 
So, in this case, we're going to give Toko Yami the uh, max HP up just because he's under half health. Uh, oops. And we'll try to get rid of Midoriya, I think, at this point. No more red units, so Ojiro is losing that little bit of extra damage. But getting these successfully executed skill change is making my Tokuyami stronger. So there are benefits coming out of Ojiro here, giving that extra skill impact damage. Tokuyami is not in any danger of being KO'd. And we get rid of Midoriya! Look at this! Ojiro gonna get a W for us, the first freaking fight, I imagine. Uh, this is good. I think Sue has dodge, so we get Tokuyami to do his AoE, so... And we can probably get some decent damage from Ojiro here. Ooh, that's some good crits, actually. That was some good damage. Sue had two dodges. You must have had uh, help from number two there. Ojiro tanking that. Healed back up, by the way. I think we're going to lose him here. But that's some good tanking, actually. Hey, that was good. That was good. We did lose the boy right at the end there. But I was thoroughly impressed with that. That was actually... That last stand he gets. Plus he healed up a little bit. And then... Obviously got to tank a couple more hits because of that. That was great. That was beautiful. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a W first fight. That's pretty sweet. Um, maybe I won't change it up, actually. Maybe I don't need Todoroki. Maybe I'll just have my GOAT do a lot of the, the lifting if uh, I lose somebody on my front lineup. But yeah, it looks like we're going to pull away with a victory here. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, we'll just do uh, this. Single target attacks, of course, do more damage. Oh, we got paralysis. It's over. Okay. GG's. Okay. First fight looking pretty good. Ojiro, of course, didn't KO. Oh, did he KO anybody? I don't think so, but uh, he did have buff and Tokuyami there quite a bit towards the end. Got some good damage on Ochako, uh, which allowed Momo to do her plus ultra, which got her basically down to nothing, so we took her out with normals. Uh, I would call that first fight successful, all things considered, so uh, hopefully we can get a windscreen pose here with Ojiro, but if not, so be it. Uh, but yeah, on to the next fight. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. All right, next fight is Arthur. Not looking forward to this one. New Year's Ochako is just such a pain to deal with. Uh, anyways, I will show off my very quickly just where I have him on the basic ability route, just so you have a, an, a general idea where he is. So just two nodes away from being full. Uh, I just I don't have any more stars to complete him. Of course, basic route is completed fully. And yeah, that's pretty much where he's standing at currently. And then with the memory, I don't have any speed on this. It was just, it's tricky to roll a blue, like, slot right now. But it is double power. This memory is kind of just meant to do a lot of damage anyways, so. Unless I have a couple here that I'm worth, yeah, I don't even have any. I was going to say, if I had a couple, I would try for a speed roll right there, but. Power is fine. Kind of works anyways with Ojiro's plus ultra. It gets the overwhelm. It gets the ball rolling, so. I like the lineup, and we're going to keep it like this, so. Uh, but what we are going to do is going to take advantage of our second Dulce Summertime, because why not, right? Throw that on Tokiyami instead of uh, Abyssal. I mean, even though the uh, the Abyssal one does have Tokiyami, it's more fitting, but I gotta, gotta use the best memory, man. All right, so the good news is we might actually be faster here, which we are. Bad news is, of course, just Ochako in general. So we do need to deal with this character. I just, I, it's just gonna be a nightmare if we don't. So what we're gonna do is Go for the bind right off the bat. Yeah, I think that's the right play. I don't think there's anything over there that can negate it first turn. So, if there is, like I said, I don't re-kit, so I'm horrible. On Momo's good. On Momo's actually huge. I will take that. I will definitely take that all day, every day. Uh, so, the nice thing is Compressed does have plus ultra gauge gain in his kit. So, we might be able to negate some of Ochako's, you know, annoyingness, but... We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Because she does, of course, lower plus ultra gauge at this action skill. Nothing I can do about it. But hopefully compressing kind of counteract it a little bit. I'm a little bit worried. I feel like I should have put on strong battle formation on Momo to so make sure everybody's plus altering. Case in point. That sucks. Because we're not even going to have our plus ultras next turn now. Because uh, it's also in her passive. It just lowers plus ultra gauge again. So you'll see we'll get it. And then we'll lose it. Nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. So all I will do is Ojiro's AoE. Yeah, New Year's of Chaco is going to be a pain. I, I oh, And she stunned the one unit that was attacking. Love it. Nothing more nothing more enjoyable. Okay. At least that's only one turn, so we're back on our feet here. We are going to hide Ojiro. Just got to make sure he survives at all costs. Momo's doing this action skill, which gives health recovery, which avoids the stun, which is really good. 
so we don't really have to worry about anything. Doesn't matter anyways, because we're dodging it. Uh, but just in case, there is a way to get through that. Alright. We do have our second chain of action skills here. We might be able to do something to Ochaku here. Um, I actually think I'm going to attack third with Compress again. Just because Ojiro's will hit harder, of course, and then Compress does multi-hit, so if by some miracle, Ojiro can, like, crit, take Ochako down to 1 HP. Compress could finish off with his multi-attack. But we'll see. 46k! That was good damage! That worked out perfectly. Oh my! Ojiro's the greatest character of all time! And he hasn't even plus ultra yet, so we haven't even gotten his overwhelm ability from the memory. That's bizarre. Okay, okay. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I'm feeling like there is there is hope here. As long as this doesn't KO... You have got to be kidding me, Ochako. You are the most annoying character in history. Anyways, let's see if we can get some good damage here out of uh, Ojiro. Wow, that sucks. That stun was so unfortunate. Ah, it is what it is. All right, let's see what we got here. 56k, no crit? I'll take that. I actually will take that. So, as you can see, we do not have Momo action skills because you got stunned because you know great game so hopefully we can do some pretty good damage here to ochako there's not really a point in doing my single targeted attacks even though it would probably take her down to one hp she's got her last dance from momo there too much to deal with let's see we got to get lucky with the stun again which really really sucks because we did not attack third we don't have status null up we got a lot of things going against us here so hopefully we can get a little bit lucky here if we don't get two of our characters stunned, we should be able... <sighs> Did exactly what I didn't want her to do. Lovely, lovely. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're probably done for. I, uh, well, yeah, we're probably done for. Yeah, and that's why. I think that was... Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Ojiro last one standing. Fight to the end, friend. Can't win them all. That was pretty tricky. Ochako got some very uh, clutch stuns on her end. Kind of just shut us down there. Uh, but that's okay. Can't win them all. So on to the next opponent. Ojiro! That wasn't your fault. That was just Ochako. New Year's Ochako and Ochako. That combination was just disgusting. And it inevitably ended us. But that's okay. He'll do better next one. All right. So I might be throwing my boy into more fire. Secret battle. We could be just fighting a, an average Joe. We could be fighting Sunny for all we know. So we could be... Uh, in for a fun time or a hell of a time, so we'll see. Okay, interesting. Kaminari, or Karashima, sorry. With Midoriya here. Okay, because he can cover pretty heavily, right? So I kind of see what the, the game plan is here. Um, but there's nothing to really worry about over there on the first turn. Either way, still gonna do this. It's just a safer play. We'll get double AoEs, just roll him, get the action skill up for a little bit for compress, do a little bit extra damage. Oh, wait, is that the other action skill? I can't remember. Double bind is huge. Because we can actually go pick on Midoriya now. Which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to pick on Midoriya. Hide Ojiro at all costs, because like I said, I just want him to survive. I know I could have used Dulce Summertime with Compress again, but there's not really a point. Especially when they were bounded, right? They didn't really get to use the dodge on Momo on or Ojiro there. So didn't really find a purpose. And all our plus ultras are first, so we can actually beat the crap out of Midori here. Even though he just he did just get last stand, we're going to have our AoEs next turn. It doesn't matter. I thought he got his last stance. Look at that. That worked out perfectly. Okay, Steampunk Bakugo. I'm not too worried about, well, especially if you're bound. Okay, I'm smelling an Ojiro windscreen here, folks. This is, this is good. Uh, not bad damage. Okay, I'll take that. I wish he would have crit. Crit would have been beautiful there, but that's okay. Uh, Barrier's only going to last for three hits, right? So we should be able to get rid of it with the AoE here. Uh, we will go third with Ojiro again. And yeah, he should be able to get some pretty decent damage with his AoE. Get rid of the barrier. And we bound it again. Look at that. That is the first time this whole video we've been able to take advantage of that. But did you see how much his AoE just did? It's because we finally got our plus ultra gauge to work right we finally got overwhelmed to kick in so og road is, was able to unleash his full potential of damage there we go this is what i was hoping for with this memory 
That is, this is beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. Okay, okay. I I'm satisfied. I could end the video here. Uh, we'll probably do one more, but uh, getting this in is all I wanted, right? Getting in that beautiful damage with Ojiro. That AoE was great. 25k crits on uh, whoever was in the middle there. Or Momo. Uh, 20 crits on the other. That was that was insane. Very good, Ojiro. And we got the with screen. Look at my boy smiling. Finally getting some shine. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll take it. I'm, this is a great video, no matter how it goes. So uh, we'll do one more fight and then call it there. But Ojiro, with the memory, you get it all to work. The boy can cook. The boy can cook for sure. So that was awesome. And our final fight will be another secret battle. Uh, I will do another fight if this is the exact same fight. I really hope not. But yeah, I mean, we got exactly what we wanted to see, right? We got to see Ojiro take advantage of the memory. Good hell. Uh, and he got to do exactly what he, he was meant to do, right? Overwhelm kicks in and his damage skyrocketed. So that was beautiful. And now we're fighting this. What is this? I don't even want to fight this, but we are. We are faster. That's good. So avoiding the bind, this is a necessity. And then we're going to try to get a bind of our own. Uh, yeah, and we'll get Dulce Summertime just rocking right off the bat. Protect ourselves from uh, Midoriya there. Although I was going to say, unless he get bounded, but he didn't. Okay, and then we should be totally fine here. I'm not really worried. Yep, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get rid of the dodges off Izo right off the bat. Don't want to deal with that at all. No point in using OG or uh, Compress's second uses of Dulce right now because only Izo. No, none of them are attacking here. Literally, none of them are attacking, so. No point in wasting that. I'm not really too worried about the plus ultras. So, I think this is a smarter play. I think probably not. Maybe I should have protected myself from these plus ultras. It is what it is. We're rocking it now. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Now, of course, we gotta protect ourselves from a bind. We gotta protect ourselves from Izula's plus ultra, which I think had bullseye anyways. I might have messed up here, folks. I probably should have used the second instance of Dulce Summertime, the more I'm thinking about it. One bound from either or. Yeah, that that sucks. That sucks. Okay, I think I made a mistake. Damn, I'm so good at this game. Y'all, y'all wanna get better? Don't watch me. Go watch go watch some pros. Go go watch other players that know how to play. Because I'm not that. Wow, that sucks. Okay. Um, hopefully that doesn't bind him. Beautiful. And we should be better. Better, because their action skills are all messed up. Ojiro's still alive. That's all that matters, really. Um, we're going to do this. Just kind of protect ourselves again. Tokoyami does have Dulce Summertime. So we could protect ourselves again. Good crits. Love to see that. Love to see that. Well, of course, uh, Aizawa's removing a lot of our buffs. So he's taking away a lot of that extra damage, unfortunately. But... Not much I can do about that there. I'm going to keep giving it to Tokiyami. He's the one that's hurt right now. I want to protect him, of course. Get the second instance of Dulce Summertime in here, too. And we get rid of Aizawa. Beautiful, beautiful. That that extra action skill impact damage that Ojiro gives us. Coming in clutch. I press this feeling the pain a little bit here. Oh, if Ojiro was plus altering, life would have been good. Because we could have plus altered Ochako. We could have just clobbered her, right? He gets that extra damage against red units. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Uh, Momo probably going to go for Deku type advantage, right? Oh, Chaco. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. And then Deku. I'm not worried about this at all. So we're okay. We're okay here. Get some good normal. Oh, my goodness. Tokoyami. Calm down. We need Ojiro to shine here a little bit. I'm actually going to do this. This seems crazy, but I just want to get in the plus ultra damage with Ojiro. I want to get in. Don't die get in that overwhelm let's get him cooking here right this probably won't do too much damage but now he now he should be good overwhelm for four turns right we can do this this and this and hopefully this aoe can do some solid damage we don't have much build up or action skills chains we're out of sync for a little bit and the five turns of the memory have probably worn out by now but take what we can get right yeah not that great of damage unfortunately so uh, it is what it is, but that's okay. Wanted to get in that plus ultra one more time at least, right? Alright, let's get rid of Midoriya. We'll now give the crit rate to Ojiro, right? Just try to give him that extra max HP. Give him chances to survive. Oh, that was good damage, though. I'll take that all day, every day. 
Uh, they'll get their plus ultras, but Midoriya will fall here, which is really good for us. And then it'll just be Bakugo. Hopefully, we do get rid of Midoriya, just because... Okay, never mind. Ojiro's a tank. So Ojiro's actually made out of freaking steel. Oh my gosh, he survived that. I'm just gonna let Ojiro do this. This seems bizarre, but uh, I feel like that's stupid. Let's just put this plus, plus ultra with everybody. Sorry, I'm sorry, Ojiro. I, I'd rather get the W. I'd rather get the W with you on the windscreen. With you on the windscreen is what I would have preferred. I should have maybe done it for science, but that was the safer play. We get the win pose beside my goat. I think that's the greatest way to end it off possible. So we're going to call it there. Uh, Ojiro. Um, honestly, not the greatest in PvP. Uh, in many situations, honestly. It's hard to fit him in like PvE or PvP, but... He does have some value. That memory does actually help him get a little bit better, especially if you get everything in sync, you get the overwhelm cooking. He can do a lot of damage, as you saw with that one fight against uh, Buon there. So yeah, Mana, he got KO'd, but we did get the W here. The double of Chocolates was just too much, but Ojiro getting up 300k damage. That's beautiful. You'd love to see that. Here is where he shined the best. Uh, it's, once again, it's not a lot of damage, but that AoE he got in there against... Uh, Karashima and Momo. That was glorious. We got to see that extra damage on Karashima too. 25Ks and Momo took 20, so we got to see that. Very, very nice right there. And then uh, Jackpot being the final fight here. Some pretty solid damage. Uh, Tokiyami did close it out a little bit, but still, Ojiro got a couple of turns in there where he did get the shine, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. So let me know your thoughts and opinions are on Ojiro here. Uh, I don't think this is pvp is really his uh best fit but with the memory you can make him cook for sure so thank y'all for watching uh happy to be back like subscribe if you enjoy the content and until the next one take care and tokus out